Tektronics. Type CA plug-in unit installed in a rack mount 547 oscilloscope. This thing is huge. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to make a series of short videos where we focus in on one particular aspect of the oscilloscope. Let's get started by removing this plug-in unit. This plug-in amplifier is one of the older units that's compatible with the 547 oscilloscope. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 vacuum tubes, including common tubes such as the 12AU6 and the 12AT7. That's a tube that might be familiar to the guitar players out there. Today we're going to focus in on input channel A, specifically this AC-DC switch, which is something that's shared in common with nearly every oscilloscope you'll encounter. As we look inside, we see the AC-DC switch, which is a single pole, single throw configuration. Here's the input jack, and then we have this capacitor. The output is on this green wire, which heads through this hole in this board. Now, if we very carefully pull back this green wire, we can see that there's another wire which is hidden underneath. And the way it works is our input jack, which is this point right here, goes through that wire to the switch. The input jack also goes to this capacitor, which ends up back at the switch. So when we are in DC, the switch is closed, which means that our input jack, which is this point here, shoots across, goes through the switch, through the green wire and out. Or if it's in AC mode, our signal goes through the capacitor to the switch and then through the green wire. The purpose of this capacitor is to block DC. Let's take a look at channel B to see if it's a little more clear. Again, we have the selector switch, the input connection, and the capacitor. This time, our signal goes from here to this side of the switch, and it also goes to the capacitor to this side of the switch. It's really hard to see, but deep down in there, there's a little hole, and that's where our output is. So if we are in DC mode, the signal goes from here, jumps across the switch, goes through this board, or if we're in AC, the signal comes in, goes through the capacitor, where DC is effectively stripped off, and then it goes to the other side of the board. Please let me know if this video is useful. If it was, we can continue on in our exploration of the Tektronix vacuum-tubed oscilloscope.